how to include your LinkedIn URL on your resume with these easy steps. By the end of this video, you will know exactly what a LinkedIn URL is, how to create your custom URL, and where to put it on your resume. Let's get started. But first, for all the guidance that you need to get hired, subscribe to my channel. I post weekly content that will help you along every step on your journey towards landing your dream job. Be sure to click on the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified whenever I drop a new video. For more tips like these, I don't want you to miss a beat. Creating a custom LinkedIn URL and including it on your resume is this one step that so many job seekers omit unnecessarily. As a resume writer myself, and when I work with my clients, I always make sure to include their LinkedIn URL on their resume, but also making sure that they have a custom URL. So I wanna show you the steps to create yours today and where to include it on your resume. What is a LinkedIn URL? Your LinkedIn URL is a simple web address that takes people directly to your LinkedIn profile. When you create a profile on LinkedIn, LinkedIn automatically assigns a URL, but many people don't know that this URL can be customized. So you can go from this, that looks kind of messy, too many numbers, to a more simple LinkedIn URL, perhaps using your first and last name. This also looks so much better when you put it on your resume because you have that custom URL that's going to link the potential employer directly to your LinkedIn profile. Is it necessary to include your LinkedIn URL on your resume? Absolutely. Employers always look for online presence. So giving them that direct link to your LinkedIn profile helps them easily find you on LinkedIn and so that they can explore a little bit more about you. Please make sure that your LinkedIn profile is up to date when you include your LinkedIn URL on your resume. But yes, employers love to see this. Okay, here's how you create your custom LinkedIn URL. So you're gonna go over to your LinkedIn profile. You're going to navigate to the top right-hand corner where it says edit public profile and URL. Click it. Again, in the top right-hand corner, it says edit your custom URL. You're gonna click on this pencil that's gonna allow you to edit it. And generally a good rule of thumb is to just use your first and last name. LinkedIn will let you know if it is already taken. If it is taken, you can include a middle initial or maybe add a one or number behind it. Um, but you want to make sure that it's very simple, very short and sweet, and that it's able to easily identify you. So your first and last name is the best rule of thumb. If that is not available, use your first name, a middle initial, and your last name. And then click save. Great, now that you've created your custom URL, it's good to know where to put it. You want to include your LinkedIn URL within the contact details section of your resume. So generally, right at the top of your resume with your email, your phone number, be sure to include your LinkedIn URL. And so to recap, employers love to see that candidates have an online presence. And the best way that you can showcase your online presence is through a LinkedIn profile. Be sure to include your LinkedIn URL, rather a custom LinkedIn URL on your profile in your contact details so that an employer can easily have access to find you online. If you have any questions related to your job search, related to creating a custom URL, please comment them below this video. Also, I want you to download my free guide, the Stand Out Candidate Toolkit. In this guide, I detail steps and strategies to help you be a standout candidate, to stand out from the masses of job seekers that flood online applications, get noticed by your dream employers, and ultimately get hired. A link to the download is in the description. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to comment below as well. Bye bye for now.